My name is Ed Motika. I'm a professor of immunology at A.T. Steele University in Mesa, Arizona. Um, I've been coming to these conferences for close to 50 years now. I've been a member of AAI since 1976, so I guess that's 40 years. When I first started coming, I was a graduate student. I was uh, a researcher for a large number of years. Uh, eventually became Associate Dean for Research at Southern Illinois University School of Medicine in Springfield, Illinois. And uh, when I first started coming, it was basically to see what was new in research, what was new in uh, techniques. The exhibits were always ex exciting because the uh, companies were introducing new things. Um, for the last 10 or 12 years now, I've been teaching and I teach immunology. I no longer have a lab. I um, teach all the immunology for both first and second year medical students where I am. And so now I'm more interested. I use this as a mechanism to keep up with the field, to learn areas. Uh, and I, I pick out certain areas. This year I'm looking, I'm particularly interested in autoimmune disease and in some of the new therapies for uh, cancer, immunotherapies uh, that are being developed for cancer. Uh, these are things that will I'll directly be able to relate to my teaching when I get back to Arizona. I would say that probably the biggest accomplishment I made um, was in training uh, graduate students to proceed and many of my graduate students went into industry, which was unusual at the time. It was almost like uh, people didn't want to talk to graduate students who were interested in going into industry. But some of them have been quite successful uh, with a number of drug companies. And uh, I'm proudest, I think, of that. Um, probably prouder of that than any of the research that I myself did. I've learned a lot from these conferences that I didn't know prior to coming, um, every year there's new things to, to um, take away. Uh, I think one of the things um, that I learned probably 10 or 15 years ago was the, um, the division of CD4 T lymphocytes into various functional subpopulations. And I sat in a, a plenary lecture and listened to uh, some of the work that was being presented and went home and in the next week I presented this to the medical students and now this is basically a, a major uh, component of how the immune system uh, regulates itself uh, and, and makes sure that we don't have too much immunity but we have sufficient. When I did have a laboratory um, I would come here and I learned about flow cytometry, I learned about uh, staining with monoclonal antibodies, and then um, some of the aspects of isolating individual cells and um, being able to determine what kind of cytokines they were producing. So those were techniques that I was able to pick up here and take back to the lab and show my graduate students um, how to do them and how to uh, uh, use them in their studies. I think the, the biggest thing I've done is just I recently published a book based on a couple things. Number one, I, um, when I was a graduate student, I had two um, professors, um, Al Nissanoff, who taught me immunochemistry, and Sheldon Dre, who taught uh, immunobiology. And they taught by having us read the primary literature and discussing what were the advances made as a result of, of the studies that we were doing. Um, this kind of sat in the back of my head. I thought this was a great way of teaching. I, I did some of it myself for graduate students. And about five years ago, I had an opportunity to visit uh, Melbourne, Australia, where the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute is and met with Jacques Miller, who is an individual who first showed us the um, role of the thymus in the development of T lymphocytes. And while I was there in Melbourne, I outlined a book that I decided I had to write 
basically the book is how we know or what is the evidence for the, ver for the number of things that we assume, we as immunologists assume, and we impart to our graduate students without really telling them why we know this. And so the book, it took me four and a half years to write it. It's called A Historical Perspective on Evidence-Based Immunology, and it came out last December. Unfortunately, it came out the same day as Star Wars, December 18th, and so it was kind of eclipsed by Star Wars. I think I would have been uh, a little bit better if it hadn't come out that same day, but uh, it's, uh, it was a fun job, and it's uh, kind of nice to, I, I kind of feel this is my legacy to the field, and um, hopefully others will think that also. Immunology has been good to me. Um, in fact, I got my PhD in anatomy, and after about five years, I, and I was teaching some immunology where I started, and I needed to, I wanted to teach more immunology, so I, I changed uh, positions. But I will never forget um, when I took my first NIH grant into my chairman at uh, Southwestern Medical School, Bill Billingham, who is famous because he worked with uh, Peter Medawar on the development of tolerance, and the grant was on different subpopulations of T lymphocytes. And Billingham sat there, and he just said to me, he said, that's a pretty good grant, Ed, but a lymphocyte is a lymphocyte is a lymphocyte. He never, well, at that point, he did not believe in, even though the various subpopulations had been defined in mice and in humans. He did not believe it. And um, so it was, it's something that's uh, in my head because I then worked for the next 20, 25 years on populations of T lymphocytes with this always back there. A lymphocyte is a lymphocyte is a lymphocyte. I think immunology is the um, going to become the most important uh, area of discipline in medicine. Um, I think what we see now happening in immunotherapy of cancer is going to happen in other areas, uh, heart disease and, and um, psychiatric disease, and we will see immunological mechanisms being uncovered and uh, things being learned, new therapies being developed based on immunological principles. So I think it's got a great um, future, and um, you know, I, I almost wish I were a, a student now rather than at the other end of my career, but I'm, I'm still enjoying what I'm doing.